Thanks for coming and watching my video today. I am at my old church office. I actually clean here still and they wanted to start using this room, which, you know, kind of got cluttered up. And so I volunteered to fix the room up if they would pay for the supplies. So I got a pretty small budget that I was working with. I have been finding lots of good deals. I'll tell you about that later. So right now we're just kind of um, cleaning up getting ready to paint here's the room before it had really looked like this <laughs> since 1999 when I came to this church I was so happy when they <laughs> decided to let me do over this room because literally it hasn't been touched I think since at least 1980 probably <laughs> Judging from the decor, we had to keep the furniture in here. So I tried to just pull it all together and change the accessories and the paint and things like that. Oh, 
Wow, that was a surprise. <laughs> I've already been pulling on it and it didn't do that. Ew. So, hey. We can just <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Oh wait, I have a dust allergy. I need my mask. Shake it, her mask, it's an emergency. No. Ew. What? You need the vacuum cleaner. This corner is just really bad. Ew. What is it? Shake, get the vacuum cleaner. I guess that's how you do it. <laughs> we know how to do stuff. How was it recording? I hope I don't spill this on my shoe. Good. Wear those right now. No. Wow. Oop. See, don't step on this and track it out there. That's the Mom, issue. Mom, seriously, why would you ever do that? Stop. Okay, I need that paint stir stick. Where do you want to go? I mean, he just stirred it up. This is nice, smooth. We can. Yeah, it was nice. We can smell, spill on it, and it'll be fine. We can. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. He, and it's so gloomy today. You just can't tell what it's going to look like. I know. <laughs> it looks blue. <laughs> it's fine, Mom. It's going to be dry. It's going to be gray. Okay. Yeah. Silver mist. See, this is kind of bumpy wall, so two coats. <laughs> Definitely. So paint the stove pipe <laughs> on the outside. You will just have to excuse our goofiness in this video. And believe me, we cut out some really goofy stuff that was just too much. So we just get together and have fun when we do things, which, um, I love having fun with my daughter, with my daughters. Um, and so, yes, the paint came out baby blue and we had to do another coat with, the second coat was gray, that <laughs> just straight gray. So it turned out fine in the end. Um, we thrifted curtains and to remake into the short curtains for this window in the corner here. We also got some uh, command hooks to hang up the curtain rods, which were also thrifted. They, not the command hooks, but the curtain rods because of this weird corner and the brick walls <laughs> that we had to get creative on. Um, my daughter Savannah did the sewing for the curtains. <laughs> I really appreciate all the help that my girls did for this little project.
So here are the things that I went and gathered up. The rug was from Ross. It was like $12. This art I actually got at the uh, Falling Prices store for $2. It was Target art. That would have been $45. So I gave that to the church. Um, the little plants, you know, were like 5 to $7 at Walmart and Ross. I got the clock for $14 at um, Dollar General. So it was a good, it was a good find. And yeah, we had just a lot of fun going shopping and looking for things for this room. The coat rack, the new coat rack was from Ross also. So including all of the paint, the curtains, the rods, and everything, we we did this room in under $200. And um, I was just really happy to be able to do it. And I think that it turned out really nice. It's really nice when you go in there. It's just so bright now with the white curtains. <laughs> and it's not so dingy and dark and, and gross. <laughs> And it, you know, it looks a little mid-century and I like that. Um, I don't have any of this kind of furniture in my house. So for me, I just thought it was a lot of fun. When I heard they wanted to start using this room for something other than storage, I was just felt compelled to volunteer to kind of do a little makeover on it. And I was just really happy. Uh, to be able to do that. Here it is with the curtains. It just made such a huge difference for any visiting speakers that might come and need a quiet place to gather their thoughts or say a little prayer before their sermon. Thank you so much for coming and watching my video today, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>